Hello friends, I am back again with some seashells. In last video, I showed how to do hole in seashells and now in this video, I am gonna show you how to do paint on seashells. There has many ways to do it but which method I have picked to do paint on my seashells, you will enjoy. So let's begin. Before coloring, wash seashells and soak them overnight in hot water with some soap so it won't have that ocean smell in it. Then wash with toothbrush thoroughly so any dust or particles of scent won't leave. Then after drying them, now let's paint them. I'm using acrylic inks and gold leaf to give new look to these shells. Few drops of ink and using dry brush and spreading color. Some parts have darker shade and some lower tone. Just little spreading spreading. Shake well ink so all pigment mix well and have some slurry paint. Otherwise it can have some chunks of pigments. Now I am gonna use another paint, another color. I am picking green color and uh, took some drops. Uh, one thing as you have noticed that I have not washed my brush. Yeah, and now I clean it with a wipe or paper towel because I want some transition, some little um, depth in colors. So I didn't wash it and took a green color and painted another shell. And then I am painting the back side of the shell also because. It depends on which sort of art you are doing and what you are doing, what you're gonna do with your shells. So I'm gonna use them in Dreamcatcher. So I'm painting both sides of it. Now take another color and again I didn't wash it. Just use the same brush. Now as you can see the green and pink pigments little mixed and it's making another new color. So it looks beautiful. I'm just trying to make some beautiful colors and some new colors. We can experiment it. The advantage of using ink is that they mix so well and they look so beautiful, so bright, dry also so fast. The pigments are so beautiful. The other acrylics and other paints little take time to mix up, but the ink mix so fast. That's why I love to use inks on shells. Here are some touches of different colors and just drying it. Back of shell also covered with that. Now another shell and same technique I am using. Here I am using golden color but one thing that I didn't wash my brush so it gives little different color and some depth to the seashell the color because I'm gonna use gold leaf also in it so little variation in color will be there and it will be look little rusted like I'm finishing all the shells in same pattern the same technique I'm using here now let's jump to the leafing. I'm using here Montmartre leafing. This is glue. I took a brush and just spot some different parts of shells wherever I want the gold leaf. And I applied this little thinner layer of glue over here that it's called leafing glue. And after applying on each shell, I will let it dry for half an hour or for 15 minutes. Now it's up to our imagination how we want our shells. We want in circles, we want to make any shapes on it, we can do that. But I just want a random, just a random here and there and some on the edges. So I'm doing like that. And I kept in my mind that I'm gonna do leafing on it. So which color will go with it with the golden so for accordingly i choose my colors and i painted the seashells though i didn't use so many colors just two or three colors i have used but 
all the shells have different variations now let's do the leafing my favorite part i took a leaf of gold leaf it's imitated gold leaf and now spreading it on shell some parts here now this golden color is popping so beautifully and uh, i'm sticking here i don't know where the exactly i applied the glue because i randomly applied here and there so i just sticking taking it the leaf on my hand and trying to stick it and finding that exactly where the glue is after that i took a brush and uh, i am removing the excess part of the leaf wherever the glue is the leaf will stick on that part and where the glue is not the leaf will remove from there now brushing and removing the excess of leaf and in the same i am using it in a way that it will give some texture and means how you want to look your shells you can do that and in some shells i am using gold leaf back side of it as i am using there i tilted it turn it i twisted it actually and then i applied it here and uh, it will give such a beautiful texture and same pattern i will do to other shells also creating it with gold leaf if you are interested that where i used these seashells so stay tuned and subscribe my channel so you will be notified when i will upload the next video i will definitely gonna inshallah upload the next video on where i use these shells and tada here are my seashells are ready look they look so beautiful i love them and i love to create these beautiful pieces the process is so satisfactory i love it and um, look the popping of the color is so 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 good <laughs> i love it there are some close pictures of my all seashells look they are looking every every shell is different and looking differently but i used same colors but it's up to us that how we use the brush and how we use our paints here i tried to give it like a mushroom look and it looks so beautiful i love it which one is your favorite i'm loving all this one is my favorite we can use it in jewelry also and uh, in some wall hangings also but i'm going to use them all in dream catcher inshallah i will show you one day also inshallah that how to use them in jewelry as well look how beautiful they turned the last step there has a left that i'm going to varnish them so it will give some sheen look also and some finish look and my gold leaf won't move also everything will stick so they bind it actually after letting them dry for one or two hours i will do that i hope you like the video if you do and it's helpful for you or satisfactory to you so like it comment it and subscribe to my channel and enjoy the art